I was an aviation electronics technician, second class, when I got out. Um, I worked on EA-6B Prowlers. Uh, they're an old platform, they don't exist anymore. Um, primarily did maintenance uh, and troubleshooting. My favorite part was working the flight deck at night. Well, I was in the Marines for all six years, 10 months. I went in 1974, got out in 1981. Um, I worked on tracked amphibious vehicles, which are 26-ton amphibious vehicles that are landing vehicles. And, uh, got to go to a lot of different foreign countries, like 13. That's mainly one of the reasons I went into the service, get a chance to travel, and that worked out very well. So I was with uh, CLR-4 out of Kansas City, and uh, my MOS was 5711. Uh, CBRN, Chemical, Biological, Radiological, Nuclear Defense. Uh, we were basically hazmat, and so we just did a lot of training in, in uh, SCBAs and SUs, different chemicals and environments. I was on the USS Spartanburg County. I was a firefighter and a ship maintenance man, doing the maintenance on the ships, fixing leaks, and just all kinds of diff different maintenance stuff. June 2010 is when I enlisted in the Navy as a hospital corpsman. Uh, my first duty station was Jacksonville, Florida, the Naval Hospital. And then after that, I split my last two years uh, with 1st Battalion, 8th Marine Regiment, and 2nd Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment, and Camp Lejeune. It really boils down to everybody we work with. We kind of treat as family, and it's kind of the same way in the Marines. Everybody's really tight, and uh, it really, really improves the quality of work. We sacrificed being away from family, and a lot of them sacrificed their lives. And so I think it's important to just have somebody come up and say thank you and shake your hand. And to all the veterans, I think that's very important. It makes us all feel good. All the veterans feel good and appreciated. Well, it just helps people remember that there are other people out there protecting them and doing things for the country that they don't have to do because our military is all volunteer has been for a very long time and it's it's good to know that it might help people appreciate the veterans more only one percent of americans sign up for service and it's selfless service at that um, they don't do it for the money they don't do it for the status and uh it's just that one day where people can stop and slow down and really think of veterans for their selfless service I think it's a great thing to honor those who have served, you know, uh, without that 1% of people that serve and, uh, you know, sign the dotted line, uh, we couldn't maintain our freedom. Obviously, freedom has cost a lot, in the, you know, as far as lives to, to maintain, it costs more to get back if we lost it.